Hello everyone. I am here today to announce my petition and the start of a hopefully what I believe will be a movement and that is we are going to get one ply toilet paper banned. I would like to be clear this is not an absolute ban. This is only a partial ban. As we know septic tanks and boats do need it at certain points because their systems are not as well equipped to handle things as sewage is. However, government buildings and offices and public places are, and they are where we see it being used the most. These locations also just so happen to be places where germs and diseases are spread the most. That being said, one ply of toilet paper, I believe, is part of the problem. It is a scientific fact that bacteria and viruses move better through liquid. So, with a very cheap and thin toilet paper, liquids seep through easier, such as backsplash from the toilet or even wet feces. It gets through and it gets on the hands. Now one would say, of course, wash your hands after you use the bathroom, but we know not everyone does. And furthermore, of those that do, you still touch things in between the sink and the toilet. So why not cut out the middleman and try to make everyone healthier? Another point I would like to make is it is also a threat to the person using it. One ply toilet paper is usually made from cheap material and often when I have had to use it in public it has left abrasions in the area of use. Now bacteria can only enter the body through these said abrasions so diseases are very very possible and I'm sure I am not alone in having been cut before by use of one ply toilet paper because on top of the fact that it is coarse it is not very good at what it does so many wipes and attempts are needed which leads to set abrasions and cutting one major concern from people who would oppose this is the cost and it is a very reasonable concern however two ply toilet paper does not cost too much more on average I have pulled up from Google bulk buying of toilet paper in the one and two ply. Here's the cost of some bulk supply of one ply of toilet paper. Often it reaches above $40. 31 and $14.99 being the outliers. However, the $14.99 is for personal use as it is an Angel Soft from Target. Therefore meant for private use and not commercial. These are some of the costs of two ply toilet paper. Some of them are very high, but that is because they are mass bulk from a certain company that does mass supply. But even so, the same company still supplies some of the quantities at less of a cost than it takes for that of one ply toilet paper. Another factor to consider is that more use means more buying. And because one ply toilet paper is cheaper, and I have already mentioned that it is less effective at its job, one would naturally make the connection that more would have to be used. I am unaware of and I was not able to find any studies involving this, but if one was to study how much one ply toilet paper is used on average versus two ply, I believe a difference would be found. I believe the number one place in which this is the most prevalent issue is our schools. Schools obviously use bulk one ply toilet paper, and they use them in these massive rolls much larger than you would find in any household. However, these are the main rolls that I'm talking about in which I had to use way too much and caused many abrasions on me. Also, schools are the number one concern for health and safety. People want their kids to be safe, but we know, even before the COVID-19 situation, that diseases swept through schools. One person gets sick, everyone gets sick. That is how it always happened. And I believe that we can lessen the chance of students getting sick by making this switch for the reasons that I've already mentioned. From personal experience, being only 19 years old and only having graduated in 2019, I can tell you even now, I have had many instances in the bathroom where I've seen people come out from the stalls and not wash their hands. And lastly, Comfort. People do not like using one ply toilet paper as it is. It is uncomfortable. It is coarse. It is hard to use. So aside from cost and effectiveness and health, on a personal basis, it is undesirable. So not only would it help everyone in the sense of health and safety, it would also be a quality of life improvement. 
Now, as I mentioned before, we are not banning this completely. Do not take it as that. People who use septic tanks do need to use them at certain times of the month. They are supposed to cycle out what they use to flush down the toilet because their septic tanks can be backed up by bulkier, harder to break down flies. So of course it's not a complete ban. Especially, like I said, and you saw earlier on the price list, there is private use. You are allowed to buy it on a private level. That is not the goal of this petition. It is to get it removed from public places. Boats are in the same situation. Their septic systems are not as strong because that is not the primary focus. Therefore, one fly toilet paper is usually required, and they usually, on cruise ships, ask you not to flush wipes for that exact reason. So, they would not be banned from that use on cruise ships either. Even though that is a public place, it is required for the maintenance of the ship that it be able to handle the toilet paper being flushed down. So, they would be safe from this as well. If you agree with the points made in this video, please consider signing my petition on change.org. It is named, Partially Ban One Ply Toilet Paper. If you are coming from the petition, from the link I put in the description, please consider returning back over to change.org and signing the petition. We can get this done. We are starting small in Palm Beach County. However, I hope to make this a nationwide movement. Thank you for your time, and have a nice day.